So the picture you are seeing is a false teacher Perry Noble's tattoo. Now I'm going to play a clip of John MacArthur dealing with the issue of tattoos, but from my own personal perspective, it's my own opinion, it's just corny when Christians do this. Um, people of the world, that's one thing, but when Christians get these humongous tattoos on their arms and their backs, it's, to me it's just corny. Um, and it makes me think about this prison documentary that I watched some years ago. Now, one of the CEOs that was being interviewed at the prison said something that was really interesting. He said that the prison that he worked at was full of Mexican mafia members. And these guys are tatted from head to toe. Tattoos all over their faces, tattoos everywhere. Um, but this one thing stood out to me, what he said was, he said that the most dangerous Mexican mafia members were the ones that had no tattoos. They were typically clean cut with no noticeable tattoos. And he said they were the real killers in there. And Christianity is kind of the same way. When we look at the big guys in our faith, the Ray Comforts, the Paul Washers, John MacArthur's, they don't have any tattoos, and they're the most effective. And then you have guys like this demon here, Perry Noble, tatted from head to toe, and he has contributed nothing to the faith. I was wondering, uh, what does the Bible say about tattoos? About tattoos? Yes. <laughs> Elizabeth. <laughs> If you go back into the Old Testament, tattoos are identified with pagan religion. Um, they were basically, in ancient times, people identified their deities with the use of tattoos. So the people of God were basically forbidden to have those in the Old Testament. The New Testament says nothing about that. So one could conclude in ancient times they were identified with paganism. There were there were certain things that pagans did, and, and God's people were to avoid doing the things that pagans did. They, um, even the Jewish people were required to dress a certain way, eat a certain diet, and avoid marks of paganism. So you could say, well, that was the standard in the Old Testament, but the New Testament doesn't say anything about tattoos, and that would be true. So I don't want to, I don't want to go so far as to say that, um, Tattoos are sinful. Um, the, the New Testament doesn't say that. Um, I, I could assume that you, you could have a tattoo uh, of a cross or something that reflected your love for Christ, or some people get a Bible verse. Um, <laughs> I have to tell a funny story about a guy who got a Bible verse and they spelled the book of the Bible wrong on his chest. <laughs> So that's not good. But the, real, the Bible doesn't really say anything about that. But my, my feeling is that in the ancient sense, it belonged to paganism. There would have to be a pretty compelling reason for me to do that. I, again, I wouldn't say it's right. I don't have a tattoo. But um, I, I, I don't want to go so far as to say it's wrong to do that. Um, but it was part of what was pagan in the past, and um, it's a choice people make. I would personally rather be able to change my shirt every day and have something different than to have something I have to wear the rest of my life every waking moment and sleeping moment. So um, just think about the reality of indelibly impressing something on you if you do that. and. Um, Maybe down the road you, you, you might wish it wasn't there. That's, that's the issue. But I don't want to say that in and of itself there's something wrong with that. Because even the fashion has changed. You know, the Old Testament, women were not to wear what pertained to a man. Um, but what did that mean in the ancient days? When mo men wore dresses. They wore robes. Women wore robes. So I, there wasn't a whole lot of difference there. I've heard people say, well, that's why women can't wear pants, because uh, the Old Testament says they're not to wear what pertain to a man. Well, men didn't wear pants in the old time. So you've got to be careful with some of that, you know, how far into this culture you bring that, okay? Just, just be thoughtful about that. Yeah, thank you.